Welcome back to Neko Nation Japan. This is Jeremy coming at you all the way from over here in Japan. Today we're going to do a quick run through of my Roth investment portfolio. Um, it's all dividends. This is January, so there was no dividend pays out, but it was kind of the time when the whole coronavirus is starting. I was over in America at the time and just kind of learning, starting to learn what's going on. And it, it definitely put a little fear into me. It's like, should I be selling out some? But I'm going to show you exactly what I did, and I think it turned out for the best, that's for sure. All right, let's get right into this. So we're jumping over to the screen now. So we have my Roth Dividend Investment Portfolio for January. So I'm going to break this down per month, starting with 2020. It just seems more interesting things have been starting, obviously, at the beginning of the whole virus pandemic. Um, for this month, we have a total of zero dividends paid out because it's January. Nobody really pays out to them. Uh, the portfolio dropped from last year. It dropped total $468, but it's going to go much lower that you'll see within the next few videos. So right here with our $35,411.45 is the total account value at the end of January. Moving right along. So getting right into it, the investments, one of my holdings, uh, we again have AT&T, 57 shares, Apple, 21 shares, which is not too bad. It gets a little better. Uh, Coca-Cola, 55 shares, and Corvega, I can never say that, Corvega, um, just 55 shares again. And they're just slowly growing up. Uh, Dow. 56 shares, DuPont, 55, ExxonMobil, 13, Johnson Johnson, 10, McDonald's, 7, Microsoft, 15. Uh, I originally bought 15 shares, and it's just been going slowly up and up to 0. 0.7, which I really, really wish it didn't end up going up so much in price. And I should have bought more at the time, but, you know, hindsight's 2020. I... Procter & Gamble, 11 shares. Southern Company, 22 shares. 3M, 5 shares. And our public storage, 4.4 shares. Now, again, it's kind of reiterating the exact same. So the difference between, I have no differences because no dividends were paid out. I always have my dividends reinvest automatically. So everything looks exactly the same from previous month. Just right across Procter and Gamble, public storage, Procter and, Procter and Gamble, public storage, everything exactly the same because nobody paid out a dividend in the month of January. Um, it's a really short video. Starting Roth account is again $28,542.17. Right now, we still we went up some, it's at 35411 uh, uh, with a change in investment this month of minus $460. Um, it's really an easy easy month, not much going on, except the whole pandemic just started up and companies start to drop like flies. The overall value of the accounts will drop considerably within the next few months. I'm just showing here, but it is what it is. It's nothing really all that great, all that tremendous but you know all right with that please like and subscribe and if you are a fan of the channel please leave a comment below i'd like to hear what you exactly you like to see what i could be improving upon anything would be great any feedback would be awesome thank you very much this is jeremy from neko nation japan sayonara